So what can I tell you about Gothic Urban Blues? It's my second solo album after Guitar Shaped Hammers. And uh, basically it's uh, the sound of the city. It's an idea of an album uh, that, uh, not quite, it's not so much a concept album, but an album, old style album, that's uh, it's, uh, it's 10 tracks, that's uh, five each side of a, of a 12 inch uh, LP. And uh, uh, the idea is that it tells a story as it goes through from track one all the way down to track 10. And I like it, it's, it's an old school way of, uh, of putting an album together and people don't do it so much these days. So this record is about the city and each track on it uh, has a little element of what I think uh, or what I feel the city uh, means to me. Uh, Manchester is uh, the city I've lived in the last uh, 38 years or so. Uh, anyway, so Manchester, amazing city. So I thought I'd write an album about it called uh, Gothic Urban um, Blues. And the Gothic Urban um, Blues is, I suppose, my idea of um, the metropolis and the, the gothic nature of it in the same way that um, all of the stories, all of the mysteries and all of the strange things going on, to me that's a kind of a gothic story that needs to be told. And uh, well my background is Inca Babies, which some people might say was a bit of a gothic band, we weren't really, we were interested in telling stories and a lot of those stories came from our imagination and living in a city. The tracks, um, the tracks are made up of 10 tracks and they tell a story. The Gothic and Blues, which is the sound of the city, it's trumpets which are like car horns, guitars, keyboards, people, noise, hubbub, just general incessant uh, racket. Not so much the city that never sleeps, it's the city that never shuts up, uh, which is what I quite liked about that track. Uh, the last track on the, on the record is, um, the last track of Side One is uh, Infinite Dust, which is a kind of a, a desert song, which is about trying to get back to the city, whereby I wanted to kind of create a sound which had the rasping sounds of the hot tarmac uh, with Kevin's trumpet and uh, Vincent's slide guitar and Nick's droning electric uh, guitar feedback throughout, uh, which is very subtly done. Uh, other tracks on the album, uh, Sideways Shuffle, which was made for Kevin, uh, because Kevin is just the ultimate jazzer. He uh, lives, breathes, even thinks syncopation. Uh, the cat can blow. And we wanted to create a song whereby he could probably do his Miles Davis, his Dizzy Gillespie, his John Coltrane. Uh, and uh, so we just got a bass line going and just let him go over, go, go through it. Uh, likewise, in uh, Gothic Urban Blues, there's a solo for him where we just tell him, as uh, John Coltrane would say, burn brightly, and he does. Uh, the, uh, I was very lucky to have such a great set of musicians. Uh, Rob Haynes, who plays drums on it, or doesn't so much play his drums, he just plays his percussion, and sometimes there's no need for a drum kit, and he just picks up a ride cymbal, and just floats around it for uh, about five or six minutes, just creating this incredible kind of shimmying sound of, of the percussion. It's extraordinary. Um, uh, as I say, uh, Vincent O'Brien uh, is an incredible uh, slide guitarist who just creates what is a wonderful steel sound with this massive big reverb uh, effects units he has, which just almost covers every corner when needed, but then at the same time he draws it back in. Uh, Kevin David, uh, I've mentioned before, just a fantastic uh, jazz musician and uh, very much um, in need um, with uh, bands like Lamb and uh, some Andy. Uh, uh, Nick Brown uh, from The Membranes, who I've played with, uh, with The Membranes and Sky, who has a real sense of not so much playing, but making droning sounds and plucking and banging and doing everything but actually playing his instrument, which uh, is great for my needs because I wanted that extra sonic boom underneath everything, which he's done brilliantly. Um, I play piano on it and sing. Uh, my contribution is uh, merely to, to start up with an idea and let everyone else build on top of that. So that, in essence, is Gothic Urban Blues. Thanks very much for listening to me. My name's Harry Stafford.